to him. He feels that this Cincinnati team has the talent to win it all. Well, even to go along with that, Gus, their concern in Cincinnati is they haven't gotten the respect they feel they deserve. And the national championship is the only thing they feel will get them that respect. They were back-to-back -back national champions in 1961 and 1962. Burton around the screen, bounce pass, Levitt rejected by Cato, and he's out of here. Cato picks up his fifth foul. Oh, my goodness. And Tim Floyd is livid on the sidelines. We get a chance to see how Calvin Cato goes over to the basket. Good to play here by Burton to come. Now, come over for the block. With the body? It was close. From, from that angle, it's tough to see anything in terms of the contact. Maybe we can see it from here. That is a look clean that it looked to me like a clean block, but the official makes the call and that's what counts. Kelvin Cato has just fouled out of the game. That is all ball. So Cato fouls out with six points, five rebounds, two block shots. And the Cyclones leading by one, but Levitt at the line. Trying to tie things up. And he does. Well, you know that they have Iowa State, Dedrick Willoughby that can score, even though Cato's out of the game and won't be able to help them keep Fortson from scoring. But it's time now for Kenny Pratt to really step up if Iowa State is to have a chance. Second shot by Levitt Good. Cincinnati, their last lead, 22-21, nine minutes to go in the first half. And now they're on top, 66-65, 54 seconds to play here in regulation. This is a tough matchup. If Holloway has to try to take Flint, he can't because Flint's arms are too long. He can get to the ball off the dribble. Keep your eye on Kenny Pratt. He's got Brandon on him, 12 to shoot. Pulls up, 14-footer, double clutch. Rebound inside. Scramble picked up by Burton. And a traveling call. Ridden down to the floor. No foul caught on the play. Huggins can't believe it. Well, the ball goes on the floor, and Kenny Pratt gets on Burton's foot, and Burton can't go anywhere. And in his struggle to try to get away, they call traveling. They've got a chance to go for the last shot because it's 34.1 seconds if they can get it in. Here's Edwards. He takes the oh, shot. Yeah. Left hand. Good. 32.4 seconds to play. Iowa State reclaiming the lead. Up by one. And we'll get a timeout. What a great game. NCAA basketball. 26.4 to go. These two teams plan for a trip to the Sweet 16. And here's what's happened in the last 45 seconds. Well, we get a traveling call right here. You see, clearly Kenny Pratt is on his leg, and if you call anything, you got to call the foul. They don't. Instead, Bob Huggins goes absolutely berserk. I cannot believe it. Instead, they call traveling, and Clay Edwards gets this basket to put Iowa State up by one. The ball, there was a timeout call, and now Cincinnati is attacking. 20 seconds to go. Here's Flint, top of the key, with Holloway. Burton. Left wing, they try to run the high pick and roll, and he's fouled. Kenny Pratt reaching in. They had a foul to give. That, yeah, they had a foul to give. That's the reason that they did that. And it was to stop the play, so Iowa State is taking his time out to try to figure out what the next play will be. Good foul there. 11.4 to go, Iowa State by one. 11.4 seconds to go. Iowa State's Tim Floyd sweating it out on the sidelines. This team up 67-66. And let's reset things for you. Neither team has a foul to give. No 20-second timeouts remaining. Each team with one full timeout. The possession arrow in the favor of the Bearcats. They're going to try to get the ball if they can. Here's Flint. Pump fake. Got it off. Short. Scramble for the ball. Picked up by Bankhead. And a foul on the floor. Bankamp comes up with a huge rebound, but he's still got to make the shot. He's got to make foul shots now. 
happen because even if he makes both, should he make the first one, assuming he makes the first one, they make both. They're only up three points. I mean, Flint goes, he short arms this ball. He's got it right where he wants to. He just short arms it because he's got J.C. Holloway on him. No way that he should be a, 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 of any real value. So Bankhead heads to the free throw line, the senior from Pacoima, California. As Pratt reacts, he's a 66% free throw shooter, Sean Bankhead. And he misses. 4.3 to go. Here's Flint. He's got to let it go. Takes a look. Let it go. No oh, Iowa State. They're headed for San Antonio. And a trip into the Sweet 16. He misses the free throw, and right away, they're not sure what they want to do. Patterson gets it and goes a little slow, and Flint just tries the shot, and he just misses it. And you can just see, as you obviously would be, the Cyclone and their fans watch their, their bench just go berserk. So Iowa State, they will head to San Antonio, Texas, and Tim Floyd's team will compete in the Sweet 16. It's the first time since the 1985-86 season that the Cyclones have advanced to the Sweet 16. And another look at...